So I wanna, you know, forget the proxy websites. I wanna talk about the users of the proxy websites and the people generating proxies. And is there like danger of actually you, the user, not the person make owning the website, but the person using the website to make your proxies, are you in danger of, you know, being sued like Napster, like Kazaa users were? So Kazaa is a very famous case. Essentially, they sued Kazaa. Kazaa turned over all the information, which included their name, their, the name that they registered, their email address. Many people at the time, most people actually used their real names and they used their real email addresses to register because they had to like send a link. It's kind of like today, then you have to confirm, right? Uh, today, actually, we have phone numbers, so it would be even more difficult today than to get out of it if you gave your phone number as the contact information, right? And back then, you know, RIAA, which was a music copyright company of some type, uh, they sued, they got all their information from Kazaa. They got IP addresses, they got when you were downloaded, they got your entire history. Forget privacy at that point in time. They sued for it. They won. Uh, same thing happened in Napster. Like you might ask, how does you know how does a law firm know that I was uploading or downloading illegal music or movies or you know there was a lot of stuff right movies, magazines, whatever it was right. It was being uploaded on the line on file sharing. Well, the way the reason they would know is if the company like Napster was sued. And as part of the settlement, right? At that point, Napster's like, F it, we'll give you anything you want. They're not gonna defend the rights of their customers, of course, they're obviously a corporation trying to make money, or at this point, trying to survive, they're just gonna turn over everything. Every time you made a proxy, every time you entered your logged in, every time, you know, where you logged in from, your IP address, and God forbid you use your real name, your real email, it would be very easy to figure out if this is the right person who created this proxy. And then, you know, even they could figure out, oh, do you print it, do you not print it? Because if it's like a separate screen, right? A printing screen, like a separate like link to, they would actually know if you tried to print the card or not. This is gonna be a very interesting thing. Whether or not they pursue it, I don't know. I hope they do not. But just like people hope that the music industry would just go after Napster and leave the Napster customers alone, that is not what happened. They went after the people who were downloading the music and uploading the music and everywhere else in between. And every single time you downloaded the music, it was one strike and two strike, three strike, four strike. Five. It was one account. So a person who downloaded 10 songs would have to pay a fine of $1,000 per song in settlement, if they just took the settlement, a person who downloaded a thousand songs would have still have to pay a thousand dollars a song and pay a lot more money, right? So um, it's the same with Getty images right now. If you were to steal Getty's images, they would hate you for every single account uh, that every single picture you you stole from them, and then they would try to sue you. Uh, the agencies in Canada, I've dealt with the Getty images people. They're horrific people and horrific law firms. Um, I've dealt with them actually a few times because I've had some clients do dumb things in the past. Look, man, is there a scenario where they come after you and they sue you? The, not, not the, you, you have nothing to do with the website. You didn't make the website. You, you know, maybe you paid. God forbid that there's a paywall and you put in your credit card. Right? That's more evidence that if the website gets sued, guess what? I mean, it's going to be really hard for you to explain your real name is on it, your email is on it, your uh, credit card is being used to pay for the, you know, the, the premium upgrades. Or God forbid you're a Patreon supporter, so you put your real name in. You got to be careful. So my warning to you guys to be safer than sorry, again, at that time, it was very strange to think that they would sue the people downloading me. Oh, we got Napster, that's fine, just leave it, right? But the music industry on a whole, as just a, as a whole collaboration, decided that was not enough. We need to punish you, Timmy. And that's why it got so ugly. I mean, it got very ugly. 
you know, moms, people in trailer parks are being sued. I remember watching a documentary on like 60 Minutes and they just sued poor people about lawyers. And this is again, my idea of classism that nobody will talk about in America, which is, I think that's a, one of the top problems we have in America, in addition to racism, sexism, transphobia, all these really big problems we have right now. But classism is one that we rarely ever talk about because hey, the rich get richer, the Hunter Pence gets some more booster packs, the Post Malone gets some more thousand dollar booster packs, the you know Ruxins get a thousand dollar booster pack, hey, Brian Kibler gets a thousand dollar booster pack, that hey, man, the rich get richer, right? Well, the poor don't even you know they're going to come after the poor for their proxy because this is what I think is happening. And again, I have no proof of this. This is just what happened in music. And they went after the poorest people first. They made them sign contracts, just like Card Conjurer, right? They made him, they talked to him. Card Conjurer said, hey, I, what I'm doing is illegal, but other people do illegal stuff too. So they got all these statements from those people, right? And settlement and so on. And they bullied them and got them to say what they wanted to say. And then when they went to the middle class, they then now had all these statements of, oh, you downloaded the same song as this person at the trailer park and the trailer. And then they, we know that this person thinks he's guilty because they signed a contract saying they were guilty. They signed a, you know, a form saying they were guilty. What about you? Do you want to pay us money or should we go to court? They could do it if they wanted to. I don't see anything stopping them at this point in time because they could go to these websites, they could shut them, they could say, hey, we're gonna sue you unless you turn over all data. We wanna know exactly who used the website, we want to know when they used it, what cards they were printing, what they were, other images they were using and so on. You think this 20 year old is not gonna give them that information on you? Like if they're, I'm assuming there's a login and some type of password, God forbid they give you a password, God damn, God damn it. You know? Uh, God forbid you use the credit card to make your proxy look a little bit more shiny than before. That's why you gotta fight it. Cause like, cause, cause let's say that we don't fight it, nothing happens today. Well, guess what they're gonna say tomorrow? That well, no one fought it, it must be okay. And they'll move one step, you know, it's the idea of the Slippery slope, right? You go down and you go down and you can't, you know, you can't climb up anymore. This is far more important than I think anyone knows. Only a lawyer would understand, like an IP a lawyer of my status, if you will, would understand what could happen. Very few people predicted. So back in the day, very few people were, were thinking, oh my gosh, they're gonna sue the people who downloaded. They thought, oh, okay, they're gonna sue Napster, they're gonna win a big judgment against Napster, they're gonna win a big judgment against Kazaa and LimeWire and all these other websites at the time. And they did that. They bankrupted all, basically all of them. And then they said, oh, we have all this user data. And the data tells us exactly when you downloaded the Metallica song. Metallica like, yeah, we gotta sue them all. <laughs> and, and, and that's what happened. We're not talking about one or two. Kazaa wasn't even the biggest website. They had 